Hey everybody and welcome to another flashback and appreciation for those who have come before us and have inspired us and have made us the YouTubers, the entertainers, the storytellers of today. So I am remembering, this one is actually a very special one that I am remembering today. If you did not know this guy, you probably will soon. But um, I had the pleasure of um, seeing his videos. And the first thing that caught my eye, besides the fact that he was growing inside in Windows, was the style of the video. How polished it was, how professional it was. I really love film cinematography and I really got into just his vibe every video was different and unique it showed his character showed who he was of course it showed his collection that was amazing um, and he was definitely someone that I aspired to grow like before I even knew him so it just so happened that he encouraged me I was already doing videos at the time but like I said, um, as I am today, I am low key, low maintenance, no drama, Obama. But Mike, who I am talking about, he really was different. And at the same time, he was strong, confident, but very humble. Plus he just showed so many different sides of himself. Uh, both the antagonizing, not antagonizing, I should say, he showed his professional side, meaning his combat side often, by uh, either having guns in his videos, knives, where he would jack them out like he was uh, Bruce Lee or some you know, someone, some contact killer, contract killer who was about to slit your your guts out. Um, the way that he would open up that knife like he was a, you know, gonna butcher you. Um, Let's see if that won't work. All right. Hoi, Sima, 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 you know where it's at? Sima, all right, get it. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Good girl. Even made videos where he was cooking. The beans are over there. The beets are boiling in here. They've been going for 45 minutes, but I'm gonna go to an hour or so. Um, I'm gonna make sure they're soft. My cast iron pan that I'm gonna cook the actual stew in is here. I got my broth. We are looking good. The ribs are looking good outside. There will be some red kidney beans, um, garlic, tomato paste. I actually kick into making the stew. What do you think, Ella? Borscht gonna be good? Is the borscht gonna yeah. be good? You you want borscht? You like borscht? You're from Germany. Do Germans eat borscht? I don't know. Do they? Ella, do Germans eat borscht? No? They do too. They do too. Sometimes? Sometimes? Oh, I get it. Okay. Let's get this pot going here. We're going to heat up this oil and butter. 
I'm going to slowly start adding the ingredients and eventually the chopped beets which are still cooking. Alright, so here we are. I just added the onions. Two different kinds. I use red and white. I like the hot and then I also sharing some with myself and Ella and uh, it won't food that looked delicious. His voice was always calm. The camera was always on focus. Just excellent storyteller, educator, teacher, just well-rounded person. And on top of that, he even sung songs, but there always seemed to be some element besides the sensitivity that he showed and the emotion and the openness, there was always to me some sort of danger, especially after we met. He started watching my videos and I was shocked. Then we found out that we were both from Illinois and um, that began just the start of me as who I am as an organ grower because I was already idolizing this person, The Growing Grunt is his channel. And, um, you know, he just did everything the right way. He had the right attitude. So I'm just gonna play a little bit and let you see what I'm talking about. And I'll introduce you, if you don't know, to The Growing Grunt. Spectabili. This is the first time I had a big bud show up or appear underneath one of the leaves. I'm hoping that's going to be a flower. Uh, I've been giving it some bloom booster. Hopefully we'll get a few others on these other canes. I've grown two new canes, but that's the first time I've ever seen a bud on it. And there's really nothing else popping out anywhere else. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Dendrobium Takahashi. Two buds still looking good. There's a little new growth on a couple of the pieces. New leaves coming in. That should be good. Uh, the Alicera Hilo Ablaze by Hilo Gold. Cut the spike off. Don't know. It's been growing in a circle pattern, so I'm I'm thinking the new growth will come over here. That might be it starting. I can't tell if that's an eye or not yet. But uh, you're pretty excited about that. Every growth has gotten bigger for me uh, both times. So this next one, I'm guessing, is going to be pretty large. Um, this is an orchid. I don't know what the name is. Um, I wanted it at a raffle. Um, really need to look that up. It's more terrestrial. And also, if uh, somebody knows the name of this orchid, if they could put that in the comments, that would be awesome. I'd be able to make a tag for this one. Um, I believe it starts with an S, but I can't remember um, what it is. Uh, if, so one of you experts who know, please uh, feel free to put a comment in there and let me know what this guy is. Uh, the BLC Wilmot Wong four new growths. Here's one, here's one, there's one, and as you can see that one there has a great big sheath in it, and there's another one under here. There is a tiny little sheath in this one. Can't see into this one yet, but it's doing well. I bought, I bought a huge pot to put it in because it needs to be repotted. We'll be doing that here pretty soon. This is uh, Lelia purpurata. All three of the new growths have sheaths in them, but the sheaths are very thin. 
Um, it's getting enough light. It's looking good. Roots are doing well. It's putting out more roots and new roots. I don't think we'll have an issue with this um, putting out a flower eventually, but these sheaths are pretty thin right now, so it's getting a bloom booster fertilizer. We'll see how it goes. This one here is one of the newer ones. i got to get the tag for this. Okay, RLC. I can't even say that. Sweet Anniversary by Oconee Mendenhall Purple. Um, it's looking really good. It's been really healthy. It grew one big new growth right here. You can see. No, there's a little nubbin in there, but I don't think it'll it's a sheath yet. But it's also putting out another new growth right there, so that's good. Uh, I was gifted a little ant plant. We'll see how this goes. I've never had those before. Don't know a whole lot about them other than what I've uh, watched on Brad's greenhouse. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Dendrobium gentensi looking good it takes a lot of water all its roots are aerial pretty much it's in a very small pot but there is a little bit of new growth it's doing quite well the uh, encyclia exotic perfusion that um, I purchased or it came as a gift when I purchased orchids from barefoot orchids it's got three new bulbs starting so that's good that's that's a good effort there for that little guy uh, this is one of my Dendrobium Roy Topignawas. It grows good. It's got a new growth right here. It's getting really tall, looking good. And also, I thought there was another one. In, yeah, here, if you look real close down here, you can see one there, one there. So there's at least two. There's another one there, three. Hopefully that's focusing for you. This is at least four new growths on this. I really want that all four of those to bloom. We'll see how that goes. Uh, this is the 2016 Orcaholics Anonymous project plant. And uh, when I received it, it had this growth here, which was the newest growth. And uh, if you remember, when we had all these shipped to us, there was a heat wave going on. It was really hot. So the leaves were a little wrinkly, all, all the leaves. Um, I watered it up pretty good. It's been doing pretty well. I'm trying to figure out where it needs to be in the light. And I'm hoping it starts to like the temperature and stuff. And if you can look down there, we have two, one, two new growths right there. And another one right there. So this guy's putting out three new growths right now. Pretty happy with that. We should have uh, something going on here later. Dendrobium Johannes. This is its newest growth. This newest growth is doing bigger than some of the other ones I grew. So hopefully this will get bigger. This was the biggest growth that it had when I first purchased it. I think these two or three are ones that grew while I had it. Um, it's putting out a lot of new roots. I probably need to water it more is what I'm seeing. So I'm going to try watering it more. Hopefully that will help. Here's one I'm pretty excited about. I've had this plant for over a year now and it's not done much of anything. Um, put out a couple leaves. One fan died off. But now, as you can tell, soak this in the kitchen sink for they're all coming in hopefully I can BC yellowbird uh, this one was in the show you've probably seen enough of this already but uh, it's still a, still an amazing plant this one's growing so well and it's still putting out tons of new growth all different ages of new growth they're all coming in hopefully I can uh, almost looks like a spike coming in right there that I didn't even notice yet but. That would be cool if I get another one. I was going to replant it, but it keeps putting up new spikes. So uh, as soon as it stops spiking, I'll, I'll go ahead and repot it. Bulbophyllum by Florum. This one um, came to me and spiked right away and bloomed. And then it spiked again and bloomed. And now it spiked again and has bloomed. And I noticed that there's another spike right there. And these new growths now putting out new growths so this is a very very uh, vigorous bulbophyllum I'm really liking it I guess it really likes my environment and that's good I'm gonna repot this as soon as it stops spiking but uh, that might be a few more weeks or maybe a month or so <laughs> we'll see how right, this goes. is a new bag baby that I got from Lowe's it's a Catlia Jean May by BL Morning Glory what I like about this one is it's kind of compact, it's not super huge, 
but there are some buds coming out of those right there without a sheath. There is a sheath there that is full, and then I have a little sheath on the back side down here that's not full yet. So this one actually, for a little plant, might put up a nice big show. That'll be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. All right, well that's it. That's pretty much all I wanted to go over on this video. Yeah, just uh, a quick update on some of the things. About the growing grunt to me was special that he really only bought a handful of orchids that I knew. Most of his orchids were rescues or gifts or bag babies. So to take something that was a gift, bag baby, and also, one thing that impressed me was that he also won a lot of raffles. That's where he got a lot of plants from, raffles. So he would take these plants and he would grow them in his environment, take them home, and then the next thing you know, they would be award-winning plants. He would take them back to meetings and they would be the champion, the orchid of the month, which caused some controversy and political upheaval. But Mike arrived rised above that and still kept his you know he kept his self he stayed 100 like he does always um but he's just such a great guy and the orchid world needs him the store at the orchid show in uh, chicago for the illinois orchid society Orchids survive. We'll see how they do. We'll get them out of here.
from YouTube and he still was on Facebook and around, but a little bit more underground, which is fairly typical since I had known him. He was always underground on some secret mission. But this one was long mission of hiding, but it was also one of the self journey. And to this day, he is stayed true to himself. He is happy living in Florida and soon will be re-emerging re as a YouTuber growing grunt with his new orchid collection that he plans on putting outside. So stay tuned for all of that. And if you don't know, you should know um, growing grunt Mike Bradzik. Anyway, he's my friend, my brother, my D'Artagnan, I'm your Porthos, beloved brother, anyway, you all, thanks for watching, and enjoy your orchids, bye.